that's fair, pre -aid. That's fair. The score. Bullessing now. I think this Bullas card's pretty good. You uptick and drain them of a card while you draw a card. That's fucking nuts, right? I've got some other stuff built up too. I want to test out that uh, that new Johnny. I think that card's real strong. I've got a green white tokens list that's like proliferate tokens. Well, that's pretty fucking fast, Jesus. I have to kill that right now, or it'll like get out of cry range. If only we'd been on the play, huh? Yeah, so I take two. That's pretty brutal. Howdy, Snow Schwartz. What's up, Hiskizzy? How's it going? It's going well. Hey, Druid Druid. the sabotage here. I think there's a chance I end up getting like a lot of sick value with this cry. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, let's keep that actually. What's up, Quigo? Uh, I don't know if we can play limited with the new set, but I don't have much interest in it right now. I kind of just want to Brew standard anyway. Wait, what? <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, I actually don't care about most of this. Awesome. Another thought erasure. Let's bid that one. And then hopefully I don't hate myself for shocking myself there. War, what is it good for? Absolutely this stream. Yeah, I was kind of hoping this cry would get more value than this, but oh well. I'm not just going to sit here and die to this Judas, right? And we have, uh, we have Nikki B mana now. Just need to draw that fucking card, right? Graveyard! Oh shit, we can transform already. That's dope. And there's tapped. Yeah, the cool thing about this spot. Oh no, I was. Uh, I didn't get to cast a Nikki B. What a bummer. The new card reward system. Yeah, they had it at um, um, the Invitational tournament as well. I, I just kind of ignored it. What is this deck about? This deck is regular old Grixis control, but it's got a spicy new finisher. You may, you might be familiar. Your opponent goes first. We have no good lands. This is probably a mulligan, but I want. I wanna, I'm keeping it because I want to. I want to play Nickel Bolas. <laughs> oh sweet, we got a. We got a good land here. The computer has calculated that I need practice. Yeah, basically, that's basically what's going on. Let's turn to thought erasure. Hmm. Sounds actually kind of good against me. Cast out doesn't kill this shit. I guess I take a Phoenix anyway. Add Jace so I can replicate Bolas. <laughs> yeah, that sounds necessary. Edge. 
Oh man, I didn't even build a board deck. Oh shit. Okay, opponent, now either exile a card from your hand or a permanent in play. What do we get? What do we get? Oh, nobody cares about that. This card is nuts! It's fucking stupid! Oh my god! Ah! Yeah, so the way that I built this, we can, we can look at the deck list I built and like talk about what I went to, went into when I was brewing. Um, yeah, it's not it's not crazy, right? It's not like I'm, I'm not like reinventing the wheel here or anything like that. But I was thinking the more drain effects we have, the more ridiculous Nickel, Nikki B's uptick was. You notice how like the him to Turok and Nikki B uptick was just like filthy. So like, the, I mean, thought erasure just makes sense. But then like going with a more disinformation campaign style Grixis list. Um, could play into that as well. Then Nikki B makes sense. Just like everything's draining, right? Ellis Reborn's draining resources. Anyway, so you just like go up the curve that way, killing and countering and discarding. And by the, th the time Nikki B comes down, the opponent should not have much left. Anyway, let's play a few more games. What's up, Cody Patrick? How's it going? No blue mana. It would be decent otherwise. Yeah. Yeah. Using full styles, what a show off, of course. They give me a count with like a billion fucking uh, gems in it. It'd be crazy not to not to use them, right? <laughs> yeah, thanks, Lusk. Mm, I just wanted to play with Nikki Beam. Card is pretty sweet. How many Escantas are there? There's only two in here. The new cards do not have styles that I've seen. Uh, let's library this. I'm actually playing 26 lands in here so I can get a couple more extra black sources. I'm playing two extra swamps. Ooh. I guess, right? Oh shit, what up? Hey Kimball, oh, thanks for the sub, thanks for the months. Hey, Talion, thanks for the sub. Thanks for sharing the Prime. That's a good one to Graveyard. Time to lose to this Thief of Sanity, am I right? Oh, they didn't want an extra Thief, though. Nice, you shall have. Is the lighting just different? Yeah, it's daytime. <laughs> I usually don't stream while the sun's out. Hey, crazy no, thanks for the sub, thanks for the 13 months. Hell yeah. I actually want this, but I'm gonna bin it anyway. Fuck it. I 
was probably wrong. Actually, if I had uh, been to the disinform disinformation campaign, I would have drawn the land, the search for Kanto would have flipped, and I could have flipped my Nikki B and just popped their thief here. Ugh. Well, that's pretty disastrous. I highly overrated this card. Yeah, we just kind of lose now. And then, like, if we'd whiffed on land for the turn, Search, like, probably finds a removal spell for the Thief. Not a big deal. Yeah, I thought Disinformation Campaign would, like, pay off later on. I haven't played with the card a whole lot. Yeah, we lost the do it live emote. There wasn't enough room. Can't keep everything. Kind of a bad sabotage there to have a flip to search. I just want to get my surveil on. So hopefully that wasn't bait. is because like the thief is hitting me too oh i left land on top of the surveil yeah the surveil sucks in this situation anyway i don't know why i valued that high <laughs> wow i dicked that up good this list has 24 lands but it's playing pretty high curve i mean we're playing a pretty high curve too Should be looking at a mono green list. Yeah, with Steel Leaf Champions. Oh yeah, we don't have any fucking Steel Leaf Champions. Do we want to be a Steel Leaf Champion deck? This list has 23 lands. We could. So this would be 20 green sources for Steel Leafs. After Boar Sack? Boar doesn't sack, right? It returns to your hand. Cut a Ravager Worm? Could. I think Ravager Worm is fucking sick to put into play with the Raise Boar, though. I think it's really good in this deck. You wanna play Thud? Sack this Galta. Cheat in the Galta, hit him. Sack it to Thud. <laughs> if Thud wasn't so awkward with Null Hides, right? Oh shit, what up? Hey, Neoj, thanks for the resub, thanks for the nine months. Oh, we got some summer quests in the queue. That was a really good time. That was a really good time to get on that. Riot's not into the battlefield. Yeah, it is. Oh, the riot isn't, but the uh, the fight is. We'll still get the um. Yeah, we'll still get both. It enters the battlefield with your choice of one one counter or haste. That'll still trigger, even if you're putting it into play off the raise boar. This is not a triggered ability that triggers when it comes into play. Both of those things will still happen. It's still good. If the creature put into play with, by the board god, if it dies in combat, it does not go back to your hand. It's treated like a different card if it changes fields, right? All right, here's a song request from Bjorkley, who says, kind of brutal, kind of jazz. I think you would like this. Sounds likely. Yeah, but the worm is just like a much better card, right? Mont Black. Because there, that, there's that balance. Because like you're not always boring a creature out, so the card has to be good on its own. And I think Ravager Worm's a lot better than Palaka Worm, as as funny as Palaka Worm is, as much fun as that is. So like another build of this, we just play like four rhythm, four raise bore, and be like, we're only doing this, <laughs> just this. 
Yeah, actually, let's do that. This hand looks slow. Slow as balls. We need a two drop real bad. <laughs> that's kind of kind of like a two drop. We'll cost two eventually. Oh man, they've got a Paradise Druid. I'm fucking jelly. Already losing the green red mirror. And I'm just gonna like whiff on lands and fucking do nothing and die. Man. Man. <laughs> we put a lot of mana dorks in here too. Oh man, it's all on fire. Fire. You know, whatever we lose, whatever life we lose to this like fast or kindling phoenix and stuff, if we go like raise board next turn and put a blocker worm into play, like we kind of gain all that life back, right? Oh, they're going wide on me. Yeah, I just need a land here. <laughs> well, give me a land. Well, give me a land. Only sweet. Can we raise more the Galton and kill them? Well, that's not as fun. <laughs> Why does everyone hate fun? God, if Galton would come into play as a 14-14 too. Yield gate incoming. Oh my god. Don't do this to me. <laughs> Is this card good with haste? Let's find out. Two attackers. Ah, uh, them. Wham bam, a uh, thank you, ma'am. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Got him, got him. Go first, all right. I need some, some red mana, right? Have they done an arena format where all creatures had haste? I don't know. I haven't played it if they did. That'd be a fun one. Yeah, no red mana, no way to play this Galta. Oh, hey, a red mana. Oh my God, I hope their whole hand is counters. He's like staring at this rhythm like. <laughs> The Omniscience event was fun. The Omni Science. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of that one. Should probably do the one one counter. We could give it haste. We could give it haste and then like play the play the second rhythm. I think that'd be a fine use of it. It's a little bit weak to cry then if they're playing that card. Or like the two minus minus two minus two. Ooh. Man, I sure hope I draw that raise boar some at some point here. <laughs> doink doink. 
All right, Reese Bore off the top. That's not what that is. Bunk. That's a lot of riot. Yeah, three mana reality smasher. get free cards it looks like am I supposed to keep this it looks fucking slow like Grixis control do it went really well deck seemed good yeah I think this hand was probably a mole oh there we go well that's a lot fucking better like null hide next turn. It seems that way, Sponge Day. <laughs> That's why we needed the third Ravager Worm. Very necessary, I see. The Stream Decker, I've been updating Stream Decker, but it does it's not gonna be complete anyway. It doesn't show the new cards. I can throw it on the screen, but <laughs> spitting out more walls over there. Five mana, not enough to Ravager. We have a wall planeswalker. Just what we've always needed. Yeah, it could be Arcades. Oh, yep, yeah, looks like it is. Well, that's not so bad. Down taking and getting the draw there. This raise board seems a lot worse when it doesn't have haste. Do we attack? Do we serve in? That's six right now. I'm gonna say no. Yeah, I think it was close to. I think they put the Grappling Sundew in the O3 in front of the Null Hide. Block Spellbreaker, take four right onto two. And then I'm trading the Null Hide for uh, an O4. Which is maybe fine, because it's an O4 plus damage. I'm hoping, hoping to hit a land here so I can like play Ravager, uh, Ravager Worm pre combat in case they deal with my Raze Boar. Hey, Lowell's Royce, thanks for the resub. Wolves Roy says, hey, Caleb, I like all this worm stuff you've got going on. Well, thank you. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Cruel Guild Gate. Oh, my God. Why, Caleb? Why? Oh, yeah. I fucking cut those uh, those three mana five fours anyway. Why do I have fucking Guild Gates in my deck? What is wrong with me? All 
All right, I'm gonna cut those. They make a wall. Yeah, they uh they can't. They have one loyalty. It's a minus two ability. Hey, 440 Music, thanks for the resub, thanks for the two months. I'm kind of regretting attacking with the Paradise Druid. I thought it was fine. I, like, mathed it out, and I thought it was a fine attack. And it turned out I was wrong. They almost didn't block it. Yeah, looks like I fucked up. I should be playing a Ravager Worm this turn to kill the Arcades and just be able to, I don't know, relax a little bit. I think I threw this game pretty badly. Yeah, possibly a pun. It wouldn't have mattered if we drawn a lane instead of this lane of more elves, but maybe that's no excuse. The kill gate was a pregame pun. Yeah, right. Is that the deck list I tweeted out? When they don't draw the 3-5, then they make a pile of walls and they sit behind it with Teferi and just like draw cards until they find it.
chomp. A little bit worried about them just like playing other Arcades and serving. Very good down tick on a blocker. Maybe just like can't win if I'm worried about that. Arcades doesn't allow the defenders to attack. Oh, okay. It's not a. It's not like the enchantment. They could just play the fucking enchantment though. Hey, hello, 1995. Thanks for the resell. Thanks for the 27 months. Hello says, notice his stream. Oh, whoa, what's this? I thought our card is did let them attack. And can attack as though it didn't have defender. Yeah, no, it's got that ability. Chat tripping me up. This eats a couple creatures, though. It's Dece. Forcing chump blocks is identical to blocking. Sure, but the wall of mist gets to block for free. But well, that's probably correct to serve. The guy in the chat in chat is my opponent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, now they play Arcades and serve. And we can jump all of this, but they deal me 12. Maybe I should have only served with Null Hide. That was another attack that probably would have been okay. multiple <laughs> they had multiple all right fair enough maybe i should have block a wormed yeah i threw this game i threw this game the turn i attacked with the mana dork i just like didn't see a good block that involved eating it so we have 14 green sources that's enough that's enough for lanoir elves we don't have very heavy red requirements though right we just need raise boron four let's see Seven of our mana dorks can tap for red. Yeah, we could get away with playing like one more forest if we wanted to. The one of Jade Light is tilting. Is it? I've seen one of Jade Light in a lot of different lists. For decks that only want to draw one ever. Let's get some land drops. Gives you some, some power for Galta. We could play another one for sure. Probably cut this Palaka Worm. <laughs> or just play the damn fourth Galta, right? Yeah, we're at 18 green sources. That's pretty good. That's probably fine. No, it was better with Caps of Polish Sniper. Hmm. Yeah, it's really whether I want like 11 forests or 10. I think this is fine. It's fine.